Dame Judi Dench, it's such an honor and congratulations on this movie. I know it's a huge hit in the UK. Yes, and happily. Happily, and I'm sure it will be he here too because what I love about this film is I see a woman in your character, Evelyn, she's finding herself by moving to a new country, blogging, doing things she's never done before. And I see so many elderly people just in my own family and I'm sure other people who are afraid to take that yes, jump. Yes, yes, I would be afraid. Tell me about I that character. Been, had it been my situation, I wouldn't have made that big move. No. I wouldn't have had the courage to do it. But I think that it shows that if you can, and if you can uh, take a chance on something, you can, you can, something extraordinary can happen to you. Or maybe not, you know, but at least you've gone and tried to, you know, had some other kind of stimulus. Yeah, and when I um, actually think about what you just said, your character has a great line in the film where she says, um, the only real failure in life is the failure to try. Yes. What do you think people can learn from this vulnerable but still strong character in Evelyn? Well, I think it's that expression that people say, we're only here once. And you know, the, the, the tiny little bit that we're here, you must take the chances you, you, you have offered to you if you have the courage to do it. And some people, of course, don't want to. Some people would prefer perhaps not to. They'd re want to retire and perhaps do more painting or perhaps learn some other skill, but they want to remain, you know, want to have a quieter life. But in actual fact, I think you should retire and be as active as you possibly can be. I think that's a great thing. I have a 90-year-old grandmother, and I, I'm pushing her to like take those daily walks. She should go to India a bit. <laughs> yes, she should go to Jaipur. Take off to India, go to Jaipur. What was it like filming in Jaipur? Oh, if you had a week, I'd tell you. It was sublime. <laughs> was that your first time there? Yes, you my very first really? time in India. Yes, and I can't wait to go back there. And it was the, the film was shown in, in I live in a village, uh, and the film was shown in the nearest town. And Toby, who is this boy who runs this cinema so well, um, you know, he he said you could st you could stand outside um, <clears throat> with a piece of paper, a booking form for India. He said you could do quite well, you know. And it was also shown in in London when it was really wet and cold. So to go in and see that absolute drench of sunshine and colour. Good advertisement. Yes, I believe so. Well, my last question for you is, I feel like this is a coming-of-age film for people in their golden years. Uh, what would you say you learned from being in this film? What I learned? Yeah. With all of your experiences. Well, I le you learn something every single time, and it may not be what you expect that you're going to learn. And that in itself, actually, is quite important. Um, you just learn, you, you know, learning to, to cope, to, to, to play scenes and act and be another person in, in intense heat, you know, under all sorts of circumstances. I mean, that, that in itself is something. Um, I, just, I just wouldn't have exchanged it for anything. Well, I'm ready for a part two, but can't oh, wait to too. see it in AMC theaters, <laughs> the first part. <laughs> me too. We'll make a sequel. Ha, ha, ha.